Well, hello there. <laughs> My name is Megan Banner, and I am a part of the Digital Arts Program, graduate of 2022, uh, here at 10th Street Campus on Sinaiq's territory. Yeah, I am currently for a big, big uh, ending project. I am learning how to tattoo, which is huge. When I first started this journey, I was everywhere. I was excited, I was nervous, um, I didn't know if I could do it. I was, it was a lot, um, but I've honestly wanted this for a really long time. And to actually get to the point where I felt confident enough to embark on this journey, even if I failed, um, was just so exciting. Huge. A huge, 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 probably the biggest part of tattooing is drawing. <laughs> if you're not drawing every day, you're not doing it right. One thing in the beginning I was kind of, you know, most intimidated, aside from like touching someone's skin with a needle, is just finding my own art style. Um, and what does that look like for me? What do I want my tattoos to look like? What do you, you know, what what is the context of that which I want to create anything in? I ordered all of my equipment. Um, I think that was like the big place of commitment for me, um, which is getting to the point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna drop like a good chunk of money on some really important, um, good quality equipment, and yeah, that was a really big step. So I thought I would do a little bit of a unboxing because I have been dreaming of this moment for a really long time. This just is the most amazing thing for me. So there was like a big, you know, a good good chunk of skills and things that I learned before I even picked up in my machine. Um, first First and foremost, I got my bloodborne certificate um, for bloodborne pathogens. Um, while when you're working with blood, uh, there's a lot of risks to working with it and maintaining a clean, sanitized workspace. And then I learned about the depth and you know the size of the needles, how I want to pull my line, and then you know I got to the point of setting up, and that was really exciting too. Never felt this excited about getting, putting popsicle sticks into a glass jar. I just look back at it now and thinking about, you know, just the feelings of timidness, having to feel this like pressure, you know, tattooing is very permanent and it's this whole nother side of, you know, an art medium that is kind of intimidating. <laughs> So I'm setting up for the first time. Setting up, it was kind of natural for me to do it. Um, and I really didn't, I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But I did know what I was doing. And I just really had to kind of jump forward in trusting that I, you know, I just had to take the steps and to do it. This is my very first tattoo oh my goodness it was great I feel like once I kind of got over some hurdles it was just I really just wanted to know what actual skin felt like um, and very very shortly after I did I tattooed myself I didn't think I was gonna do it but I did and yeah I tattooed myself which is really exciting for me um, and I did a great job too. Like, I mean, for my first tattoo, my lines were smooth. I didn't blow out my skin. This is something that's gonna be, take, be taking years. This is just the beginning of my journey. And that's really amazing. Um, it's funny when I thought about doing this project, I, was, I wasn't really thinking of the fact that, you know, I would be getting myself to a certain point where I would actually be ready to embark on a journey, necessarily getting myself 
through the point of knowing how to tattoo, I kind of thought in my head like, oh, then I'll learn how to tattoo and it'll be like this. Uh, when really, you know, I think what's the biggest learning of my entire project is I have so much more to go. And um, now I just have the basic building blocks and the confidence um, and the practice to continue on. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. 